In this video, we're going to look at the binary search algorithm. The algorithm is used to find an item in a large list of data. As the name suggests, the binary search cuts the list in half in an attempt to locate its target. The process is repeated until either the target is found or it's clear that the target is not in the list. Before we carry out a binary search, we need to ensure that the list is in order. Often in questions, you'll be asked to use another sorting algorithm to put the names or items in order. So, for example, you might use a bubble sort or a quick sort. A practical example of this might be a bank's list of customers. A bank might have a million customers, so it might want to locate a name or try and locate a name in its list of customers. The computer can carry out a binary search to do that. What we're going to do is look at implementing a binary search and some of the key features of them. So, what we've got here now is a list of Man United players. These are in alphabetical order. We've got Carrick, Cleverley, De Gea, Evra, Ferdinand, Giggs, Nani, Raphael, Van Persie, Vidic and Welbeck. And we're asked to locate Vidic in the list and we're going to use a binary search to do this. Now, the pet hate of most teachers is students saying, well, it's just there, I've already seen him. And... Yeah, that's quite clear. The idea, though, is that we get used to implementing the binary search algorithm. Remember, if this is a bank's list of customers, there's millions. So how do we start? What we want to do is locate what we call now a pivot. A pivot will be the middle name. As we can see here now, we've got 11 names. So the pivot now will be the six, and we can see this from here. Now, a way of showing this is to say one plus 11 over 2 is equal to 6. So we're looking for the 6. We can therefore say that the pivot now, so our pivot is number 6 and that's gigs. We're looking for Vidic. Quite clearly, Vidic is lower in the list than gigs. In alphabetical order, V comes after G. So what we can now do is discard the list. So we can discard the list now of 1 to 6. As we know, Vidic is going to appear in the second half of the list. So I can now say here, reject, reject now 1 to 6. So that now leaves me with this list only. So this is now the first step of now the binary search. So what we've done is simply said 1 plus 11 divided by 2 is the 6 term, therefore our pivot is gigs. We reject 1 to 6. We know that gigs is going to be earlier in the alphabet from Vidic, therefore we've just now reduced our list. What we've then got then is the next list, and the next list is 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So we've got Nani, we've got Raphael, we've got Van Persie, which I'll put as VA, we've got Vidic, which is VI, and Welbeck. If we consider now 7 plus 11 over 2, that's going to give me 18. 18 over 2 is 9. Therefore, the ninth uh, value here is going to be my pivot. And we can write that there. Now, you can see this. Often in the exam, though, they want you to show that you're finding the pivot by uh, locating now the central value or the central name. So the pivot, so we can say pivot is going to be now at 9 and that is going to be Van Persie. So what we've got then is Van Persie is the pivot. If we consider now that Vidic is going to be lower than Van Persie, then we can reject now 7 to 9. So this is what we've got just here. And we can say now reject, so reject 7 to 9. That now leaves me with a shortened list of 2. At this stage, we can't just say we found him because he's at number 10. What we have to do is the following. We've got now the list, and it's 10, we've got Vidic, and we've got 11, which is Welbeck. So what we say then is 10 plus 11 over 2. Now, this is going to give me 10.5. So we've got the 10.5 one. Therefore, we need to round up. If we have an even number in our list, we go to the middle one and then move one down. Or if you like, you can show it in this way. Therefore, now the pivot, okay, the pivot is going to be number 11, and that's well back. So what we can now say is we're going to reject, we will reject 11. 
So now we've got our list and let's just put a line through there. We've got that now and we're going to simply now locate the next pivot. Each time I do this, it's carrying out what we call one iteration. So each time I've done it, it's an iteration. So now what we've got in our list is 10, that's Vidic. We can say that the pivot is Vidic and therefore we have found, and we can say located, so located at position 10. Now that seems a long way round, but generally in an exam question, that's what you would do. So located at position 10 and we can end the search. So we have located him. So all we've done now is carried out the binary search. We've got 11 names. We can see now that the six one showing it this way is going to be the pivot. We know Vidic in the alphabet is going to be below gigs. We reject one to six. We then have a new list. Seven, 11 divided by two gives me the ninth term. The ninth term is Van Persie. Vidic appears after Van Persie, so we reject seven to nine. We're left with this list now. 11 and 10 divided by two is a 10 and a half term. So our pivot, we've rounded up to the 11th. We now reject 11 and we're left now with our target being the pivot. If our target is the pivot, then we simply end the search and state that they're located at position 10. So you've got three scenarios going on. The pivot now will either have the name below it, therefore we reject the list above. It will have it above the pivot, therefore we reject the list below, or it will actually locate now the name that we're after. So there we go. That's an example with 11 names. In this list, we've got a list of bands, Bon Jovi, Dire Straits, Foo Fighters, Green Day, Killers, Oasis, Papa Roach, Stereophonics, T-Rex and Van Halen. And we're asked to locate Green Day in the list. So this time we have 10 names in the list. So what we're going to do is do 1 plus 10. So we can write now 1 plus 10 divided by 2. Now that gives me the 5.5th term. So what we're going to do is take the 6. The 6 becomes the pivot. We're rounding up. And the 6, we can say, therefore, the pivot is going to be Oasis. So if we now look at the list, we've got Oasis. Now, quite clearly, Green Day comes before Oasis. This is in order. G comes before O in the alphabet. So what we're going to do is reject the list, including Oasis. I know that Green Day is not Oasis, so I'm going to now reject the list below that line. So we can now say reject uh, 6 to 10. So this now is one iteration, and this is the kind of thing that you would need to show in the exam. Different exam boards go for different particular approaches. This is quite a long-winded way, but hopefully you can see what we're doing. Okay, now we've got our new list. Our new list is 1 to 5, so we'll do 1 plus 5 divided by 2, which is going to give me 3. So that's the third. Now we could quite clearly see that Foo Fighters are now the central name or the pivot. So what we now say is third, that's going to mean that the pivot, so the pivot now is going to be uh, Foo Fighters. So let's just write that there. Now consider what we've got here. We've got this uh, pivot and let's just write this out. We've got one, we've got two, we've got three, we've got four, we've got five. So we've got here B, we've got D, we've got F, we've got G, and we've got K. So at this stage now, I'm going to reject, consider that Green Day is below. So what we're going to do is reject 1 to 3. So from here, we can see now that we're going to reject. So let's just put that there. Reject 1 to 3. So this is now my second iteration. Okay, And from here we can now see that we've got uh, left in here, we've got the Killers and Green Day. So what we've got now is our new list. Our new list becomes four and five, very much like the last one. So we've got G and K. So four plus five divided by two, well, that's going to give me now 4.5. Therefore, the pivot now is the fifth one. So pivot fifth and that now is the Killers or K. So we reject now 5, as we can see quite clearly, but Green Day is above it. So reject uh, reject 5, and that leaves me now with the following. 
And we can see that after we've rejected the killers on that particular iteration, we've got now our only pivot left is our, um, our target. So now we can say all that's left in the list is four and we can say now pivot is target or something worse to those effect. Therefore, Green Day located at four, at position four, and we can say end of search. So there we go, that's now completed. So as you can see from there, we've carried out those iterations and we found out that Green Day is at four. Hopefully by now you're not just saying, well, we know it's at four, we can see it in the list. Uh, that's not the idea. It's just implementing this algorithm. If you're not forced to do this, you can quite clearly see it's a much quicker way of doing it by just considering cutting this half uh, list into half or cutting it in two and then locating. But often the mark schemes in exams want you to do this to show what you're doing. So do check with your teacher what is expected, but this would be now the kind of thing that you would see in an exam mark scheme. Okay, let's go on. Uh, now, these are singers, uh, singers, and they were deep, seem to be the best singers in the world um, in a survey. And we're asked to try and locate how he stars in the list. Now, I would be happy for someone to say, well, quite clearly he's not in the list, and yeah, he wouldn't be. Um, but we need to try. And you'll see that the wording of the, the question, I've changed the wording of the question, locate Vidic in the list, locate Green Day in the list try and locate how he starts in the list, which would suggest, and quite rightly, he's not in this list. But let's go ahead and do it anyway. So what we'll do then is, look, now we've got here seven names, so quite clearly our first pivot is for Michael Jackson, but we just need to show that, and we'll go ahead and do that. So one plus seven divided by two is going to give me four. Therefore, now my pivot is the fourth term, so pivot is the fourth, and that's Michael Jackson. So if we consider now Harry Styles, if we go in now first name alphabetical order, Harry Styles is going to appear before Michael Jackson. So what we can say is now reject, and I'll just put a line across here, let's do that. We're going to reject now four to seven. So we can say now reject, so reject four to seven. For some reason my handwriting's a bit messy today, but hopefully you can see what's going on. So that's what we've got, we're rejecting that. So our new list now is one, we've got David Bowie, we've got two, we've got Eric Clapton, and we've got three, Freddie Mercury. And again, it's tempting at this point to say, well, he's quite clearly not in this list. Now, if we consider what we've got now, we've got these three values. So what we're gonna do is one plus three divided by two quite clearly now gives us this middle value. And you can see that, that's the pivot. So we can say that that's two. So therefore pivot, so the pivot is the second and that now is Eric Clapton. So if Harry Styles was to be in the list, what we would end up do, it doing is reject now the list above because we've got now that uh, H would come after E. So let's now reject this. So what we've got here now is the following. So we've rejected uh, one to two. So reject, one to two. Now that just leaves me with one value, which is our pivot. So what we can now do is the following. So we've got now three, Freddie, uh, Freddie Mercury. So what we've got now is pivot is three or third, so that's Freddie Mercury. And we can say that now Freddie is not now Harry Styles. Therefore, we can say Harry is not in the list. So what we've done is considered now but we've only got one value left, only one value left. This is a pivot, so this is going to be now our target. Our target isn't Harry Styles, therefore it's not in the list because we've got no other pieces of data. So when you ask to try and locate, it's just a case of saying, well, here's a first pivot, here's a second pivot, here's a third, and we've got to this point, this is the only value left. Freddie isn't equal to Harry, therefore Harry Styles is not, is not, in the list, okay? If you just write in the start of the question now that it's not in the list, you're not gonna get any marks. You need to carry out this binary search. And this is the long-winded way around it. If you wanna cut the list in half and just write them, it's entirely up to you, but do check the mark scheme for your exam to ensure that you're carrying this out correctly. So there we go, binary search to locate a name or item in a list of data.